Hey, welcome back to the channel, guys. We are out here at the sawmill. We're going to throw this little maple up here and see uh, what we can do with it. Uh, quick shout out to Bob Brewer at uh, Bob's Tractor in McEwen, Tennessee. He loaned us this Tomahawk grapple uh, for the 474. Uh, it's a root rake slash like forklift type grapple all in one. And uh, we're going to try this out a little bit. Uh, we also have got the uh, factory third function valve installed. You'll start seeing that more and more on the channel, and I'll give you guys a, 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 a video soon on how I installed that. So I've got used to the 264 and how to use the grapple on it, so this is a little bit new concept. I believe I can actually do as good or better because I can see a, a little bit more. And the, the hydraulics on this uh, 474 are fast. So even at idle, I have to like really be gentle. But the valve's pretty good. It, it does a good job. So let's see if I can lay this in between. It's not too bad. Not a big old log either. Oh, look at there. I bumped the whole thing. This big, big tractor, a lot stronger, a lot bigger. Hey, I'm just gonna leave the grapple sitting here like this, uh, like a fort lift, and as I cut the boards off, I'm, this, this way I don't have to move them twice, I'll just set them right directly on here and carry them to be stacked. Let's get to it. All right, let's go ahead and get this backed all the way out, and then. Now this is green wood right here. So this log, I'm going to try not to, the center of the log is pretty much the same all the way through. Up here, we're going to get a little crotch uh, where, where this went off. There's going to be a little bit of crotch here. I can see that from this end. Uh, and But the center of the log is pretty much the same all the way through. So I'm going to try my best to not waste any of this log. All right. Let that warm up for just a minute. I've been told we're keeping all of this. We're not getting rid of nothing. I probably should have used a can for that, but as the old saying goes, you can't fix stupid. Yeah, guys, I'm still learning of how this operation goes and which one to put when. And so I'm going to turn this up on its side. So I need a little, a little bit more uh, backstop so that I can make sure that this side is square. Well, that looks pretty good right there, and then we'll take the top off of this, and then we can we can go at it. I know one thing; that wood is is really pretty. I 
really want the center boards out of this. So I'm gonna, here we go. pretty much a waste to cut but again we're learning I still sit out here and do this all day make out of it but I'm sure she makes something out of it and I'm, I'm trying to make sure I get that but that's it still figuring it out so let me skim the top of this one mill has settled in this weather I'm going to have to level it back out so now what I want to do is I'm going to take these out put 8 inches by 8 inches now on this end I'm looking at got two marks two pits if you will Well, I'm going to leave this. Well, this, this is what I want. I know, but I want you to cut you, this down. From the I can't, because then I'll cut this off. There's two marks here, so as these come back to the center, it's going to be what's called crotch. That's really pretty, okay. Well, there will be, there'll be a lot of pretties. I'm going to cut this at one and a quarter. what I forgot to do was lock this down. It's not that big a deal when the board is, uh, or the, the log is still heavy, but as it gets lighter, it'll want to move around. So this, I think, is going to be pretty.
Yeah, I've just about got all this old gas run out of this thing. Look at that. That's pretty right there. That's what I'm trying to get. Yeah, it does. It kind of looks like a duck or some sort of bird for sure. Well, that side right there is already pretty. So that's what I was looking for. Look at that. Now that is pretty. I don't know if you can hear my wife over here in the in the microphone. Yeah. Yeah, this is pretty pretty awesome. I love that dark. This tree was obviously damaged a little bit when it was younger, and uh, you could see it when we cut it down. It had some some really sharp turns in it where it probably was hit as a as a, a young tree a sapling, but it's still solid. That's not rotted, but it's definitely uh, a lot darker. I'm assuming that maybe all maples are like this, but it's beautiful. I know that. It's gonna put us all the way down to three, so we're three inches a bunch above the bunks, and that'll give us another inch and a quarter. Board. One more board in there. All right, so I made another mistake. So when I flipped it over, uh, I wanted to take, I wanted the last good board to be an inch and a quarter. So I turned it over and then I set my saw to cut an inch and a quarter down. Well, ended up having an inch and a quarter here. So if I had taken a little bit more off the top, then I could actually got a, an inch and a quarter better board. Um, still beautiful, yeah, it's absolutely. Yeah, it's got a live edge. We can definitely do something. Cut it in half and put half over here and some of that clear stuff in the center and have a you know live edge table. It's definitely got a lot of potential. What I'm going to do is set this uh, lock here as low as I can possibly get it. Like I said, I don't have the cam, the one that cam that lets you get down to an inch board. But this is going to be an inch and a half board, so I believe we're going to be safe. If not, you're going to see sparks. So... Let's get this, huh? Some excitement, you said? Yeah, yeah, we're gonna get some fireworks. All right, so I'm gonna take this down to an inch and a quarter board. I'm gonna watch it as it comes up close to that and hopefully it won't hit anything. But that'll give us our right size board. All right, here we go. We'll take a quarter off this, or a half off this.
Yeah, I've still got some of that old gas in here. This is actually only our third log we've cut. And uh, so the next gas that goes in here will be of a better quality gas. And all right, so I just cut a my first half inch board. Yeah, with a live edge on it. So we got that. And then we've also got, I was able to save this, which is an eight inch uh, board with the, let's go put some water on this and see what it looks like, what do you think? So the little board, little thin board, half inch, I'm suspecting will dry quite a bit quicker than these inch and a quarters. I'm gonna rinse these off. Now one of the sawmill forums that I was listening to said if you leave sawdust on these and then stack them, that it will cause it to mold and mildew more. So what we're doing is each time we do this, we are, are drying this off, I mean, washing these off and then putting them up to dry. They are so pretty. Yeah, they are pretty. I can't wait. I feel like a kid in a candy store. You gotta wait. No, I don't want to wait. Now, like I said before, I believe that uh, that half inch piece will dry probably with, you know, month because it's so thin especially if you get some good good uh air flow in it starting to see some waves in that blade so i think we're at the end of either i'm not it's plenty tight seen some marks in that that first couple logs that we uh we saw were they were really dirty so that in itself made the blade go really quickly i mean this is still uh absolutely Usable for sure. That was the first cut right there. You can see the, the blade was rusty and it, it stained the wood. That's actually kind of cool, I think. I still think, yeah, that looks like a bird. It's just not, it's upside down. Look at it. Look at it. Yeah, you need to turn it around. like a bird. Bird is the word. Kind of looks like a peacock or like a crane. Oh, and he turned it around. Turn around. We're going to do the other side. See what's there you go. Oh, there. there's another one. Bird, there's your bird on the other side. Love it. Oh, there's my tree right there. My little baby tree. Oh, here goes one down. My bird was moving. fascinating with this little half-inch piece right here. I'm just loving these boards. So imagine this taking a table, a tabletop, right, and just putting like a, a plywood or some press board or OSB and then cutting half-inch boards and laminating the top of the table with the thin stuff so you're not wasting the wood. Well forget it, all this wood is mine. Well, the saying. whole stump is mine. I got it. <laughs> We, they make more wood. I know, but not this one. This one is very unique. I just love it. Yeah, it's so unique. That's what's beautiful. Every time you cut into this, it's like a, it's like Christmas. Uh, birthday, get your birthday. Every, every time you cut into something, you, get, you see something new. It's like the one right beside the bird. It looks like a little baby tree. Yeah, it looks like a tree within the side of tree. Yeah. I am Groot. Groot, I am Groot. <laughs> Groot is growing in the tree. Yeah, that's Groot right there. I like it. Oh, that green is beautiful. Hey guys, I'd like to thank you for watching our channel. Uh, I'd like to give also another big shout out to Bob's Tractor in McEwen, Tennessee, uh, for loaning us this Tomahawk uh, grapple. I, I, you know, I really like it. And for the 474, this is about a perfect match. 66 inch wide. It acts as a forklift, also a, a, a root grapple. Uh, it's just a pretty well rounded uh, grapple. I like it a lot. It looks well built. Anyway, thank you for watching the channel.
catch us again next time on Timber Tuesday. Yeah, I, I like this little board here. This is pretty neat and half inch. Um, Sonia gets these for some of these first. Uh, no, they're not. They're all mine. No, no come. She, uh uh. So she's, she's going to get the other one because all this whole tree is spoken for because that's my baby. You want to make okay. I want the whole well, You tell thing. your daughter. Well, I'm sorry. She keeps going to have to pass them that one. These are my babies. Oh, my. I love it. You left the, hey, you left the camera on. I'm putting that on, I'm putting that on the internet. Ooh, I love you.